tripod that my husband made for me. Thank you, Autumn. And I got this very new backdrop. So I'm getting that all ready, but the video that I'm working on right now is going to be unkitting or unearthing of my uh, Morphe Color Smoky Eye Palette because I accidentally bought two. <laughs> Whatever. So the new ones in my, I have all of their palettes. We'll go into that in another like obsession video later. So, but what I'm doing really quick first, and I will come back to this because I have to do all the mixing and everything, but I'm just taking the pots and lifting them out of the tray. And what the plan is, is to get them and reset them and create new Morphe colors. So Morphe is like my favorite brand ever. So we will see how this goes and stay tuned for more of that. See you soon. Okay, so I'm almost done depotting. It's very messy uh, to do this, but if you can see most of these colors, they actually came out really easily. And I will thank Morphe for this because I did notice that there's a dark blue, three blacks and a hot pink that are extremely adhered to the palette. And that's probably because in shipping, I'm just guessing for shipping reasons, that this stuff doesn't come out and get everything off the block or extra pink in it. And I'm like, that is genius. So I, I appreciate that, but not for this project. Um, but otherwise, most of them came out very easily. We did lose one of the really white ones. It just like, it's somewhere on my floor. I have, I, um, I don't probably ever find it. Um, but most of these actually came out really well. Um, so I'm going to actually grab some alcohol, not alcohol to drink, but alcohol to mix too, because this is a really creamy substance now and i know that if you need to fix your highlighters or things like that you can use alcohol so i'm going to try to use the um alcohol and see if that maybe changes some of the textures of these colors uh, when i mix them together so good thing is is if i don't use all this i can always get a z pack and put those uh the z palettes and have that just stick in there and i can put them in there but also morphe has one um, and I might just get, have to get that. <laughs> I might have to get that after I film this. So, more to come. I'm going to get some more products and then I'll be back. You move in this And thing. this is Jack. Jack, say hi. Hi. Oh, did you see your face in there? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Get in there. Oh, yeah. You might have to stand because you're so little. So, you're going to pick two more colors, huh? Yeah. I'm going to bring this up so you can see it. Here, watch out, buddy. Come this way. Now, which colors are you want to pick? Gray and blue. Gray and blue? Yeah. Gray and blue? Yeah. We just already used blue. You want to use another blue? Yeah. All right, you pick them. All right, what I need you to do is the ones that you want, push them to the side okay. here. Gray. Uh-huh. And purple. Ooh, all right. Okay, gray and purple. There we go. You picked it. Uh-huh. Green and purple. Green and purple. Is that you? Here, should we get you in this a little bit? Hold on. Yeah. Hey. There you are. Hi. <laughs> what are you helping Mommy make today? Colors. Colors. And where are we going to put those colors? Where do you think I can put those colors at? In my dad's room. Oh, in my... Um. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Am I going to use it for makeup? Yeah. Okay. So we got to clean these off because these are so yucky yucks, huh? Yeah. So what do you think? Should we wipe this on the floor here? Yeah. On the towel? Yeah. Because my towel is cleaning. Is it a cleaner? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we can get you in here at all. Hi, Kate. Is that better? Yeah. Is that you? All right, so okay. you're gonna help me? Yeah. And we got these two colors. What should we call this color? What do you think purple and gray together make? I think we'll make um, dark gray. It'll make a dark gray? Yeah. I think you're smart. What name should we call it? Keep that there. Don't worry about those dirties. 
All right, I think he's a little bit preoccupied with the colors. So do you think we should mix and then come back to Tapey? Mm -hmm. Mix him. Mix him? You want to tell that to the camera? What are we going to do? Mix him. Is it going to be fun? <laughs> yeah. They can mix them. Oh. Oh, you go over here. I love you. All right, what are you doing there, Jack Jack? Um, pointing the color in this with the spoon. With the spoon, you are? I'm just trying to get it with this. I can't get this off the tripod. Can you see yourself in there? Yeah. You see what you're doing? Oh, look at you. That's awesome, buddy. There's it. Got it all out? Oh, keep it in there. We're going to keep it down in there, right? Yep, keep it, get it in there. Once you got that all out, we can use the purple and put the purple in the other one. Okay. Okay. Is that good? Oh, thank you. And that's I'll, good. That's perfect. Now, put the purple one in this third one here. Okay. That way we don't mix it with the gray. So we're going to put it right in there, and we'll just mix it in when we're ready, huh? Look at you. You are doing great, huh? Yeah. Is that easy or hard to do? Easy. Yeah? yeah. Do you like doing that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mommy's going to press pause real quick, and we'll start taping after we get it all out, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, so Jack got tired of doing this, and it's back to just me. Um, right now, we have two different color mashups going on in, of course, the cream and also with the alcohol. So we have a purple and blue mix because Jack really wanted that and it's looking pretty good. And I will swatch those later after they dry. And then we have a purple and gray, which is looking kind of duochrome and also like I need to mix it up a little bit better. <laughs> So, I also, while I'm doing the Morphe stuff, I thought, well, you know, I love Etsy, and I love doing the, um, just trying different makeup um, brands that are indie makeup brands, and I have a couple, I have a Mad Hatter shade, and I have a Gaia shade, and these ones are both from Fabled Fragrances, and they are an Etsy store, and these ones I'm going to add... Um, together to make my own shadow so we'll also do that one and that one in an alcohol base but then I was thinking why well, just stop at the eyeshadow today since I'm already have this mess going on in my room and I have this old girl on um, bronzer palette which I'm hitting pan on a little bit of it and it kind of gets pushed to the bottom of my drawer because it's not um, it's more just bronzer. So I thought, you know what, I have all these other highlight colors, um, also from Fabled Fragrances, and these colors are, actually, this is Spyglass. I think I'm going to add Spyglass to these other ones, because they're like, kind of Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland, which I love. So I'm going to be adding the Gold Stardust from Fabled Fragrances. The Holy Grail from Fabled Fragrances, maybe. That's a little bit dark. And the Clockwork Pistol. And I'm going to mix it with my bronzer. So I'm going to kind of pop that out. And we will see what that does. So I have this kind of just plastic kind of thing here. And then how I do this is I just take, I should probably have kind of thing. Alright, so I'm going to use one of the clean ones. It does not have blue in it. I'm clean off my little scoopy. And it's really easy to depot this stuff. And I'm just going to go ahead and work that out. Um, and that's going to take a while. But remember, we're making this wants to be a bronzer, so not a highlighter but we'll try so i'm just gonna mix that up into here with the other colors and then i will come back and show you what that looks like because otherwise i'm gonna spill it all over me okay so i have been doing this for a few hours now and i think that i'm at the end of my 
starting to mix things with glitter. So this one, I have um, a black. I'm getting ready to mix all these. This is one of the Marthe black powders with um, the Lit Cosmetics Back in Black. Then I have a yellow and green from my Morphe palette mixed with um, with just Sally Girl Sparkle FX loose green neonish glitter. So we'll see how that turns out. I have the Tipsy mixed with the dark brown matte shade. And then I have gray mixed with a NYX holographic color here. So I'm going to mix all of these. Um, oof, and I'm like, my fake lashes are going to come off of all types of stuff going on here. Uh, I think that I'm just going to mix these and then wrap this up and we'll come back to these other ones later. I do have other glitters from, um, from Too Faced, but my next venture in de-boxing is going to be my all my favorite things from um, Too Faced, in which I took this palette with me when I was deployed, and I love it. It's like all I needed, um, but it does get forgotten with all of my new favorites, and I um, I think I may repurpose some of these too, so I would like to use Too Faced products with Too Faced glitters, just because I think that that's just the best way to do it. I'm going to mix these and set them, and then I will show you the finished product, and we will be swatching them maybe today, if it dried, so we'll see. Okay, so I cleaned everything up as much as I could get off of my hands. Um, <laughs> everybody is in bed. And yes, I sleep with my glasses on, so they're a little bit janky, and I really don't care. So, everything is getting ready to get washed, and I did have some great colors and great products that came out of this. And if you're going to do this, this is a huge labor of love, and it was. Like, I, making this stuff, I had to make myself stop. I was like, okay, everybody's in bed now. Jack has, like, I let him mix all of my old, like, all the other, like, just some random shadows together in a pot that I'm not sure if I'll ever get out of the little pot, so we'll see for that one, but what I came up with with these were as follows, so this one is a black, um, they still need to dry a little bit, but um, for this one I used a black and a very, very, very dark purple, and I mixed it with a back, black, back in black, so I'm just going to let that one dry. It's still a little bit creamy, um, and I don't want to ruin it. This was the copper with the copperella. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. I'm like so excited to wear it. Oh shit. All right, well that is definitely not set. So I just made a dent in it. Oh, it was so pretty too. All right, so these ones, I'm just gonna show you. I'm not gonna ruin them anymore, but there's that one. It's beautiful. Uh, then I did the um, Totally Nude Lit Cosmetic School Glitter with the hot pink, and this is like, gonna be my signature color. This is it's perfect. Uh, the Champagne Wishes in the nudish, mauve nudish color. Which is so, so pretty. I'm gonna do that with the other ones too. The black one is a little bit difficult to see, but that's because the Lit Cosmetics glitter is so black and beautiful. Like You probably can't even see that it glitters at all. But um, it's such a deep black glitter. That's exactly why I got it. And because it's just like once the light hits it is when you can tell really. Um, that is just nothing. You don't, uh, it's beautiful. Oh. 
Then I did a, oh my gosh, I'm like sticking my fingers right the hell in it. All right, then I did a very dark brown with the Tootsie from Lip Cosmetics. Beautiful. And these are all very wet. Again, like I said, right now they're, they're very much drying. And then this was a silver um, with the NYX Cosmetics Holographic. I'm trying to get that for you. Okay. Then we had the lime and yellow mixed with the Sally Girl Lemon Lime shade of glitter. I want to see if it even has a name in case you wanted to get it. Just loose glitter. That's what it looks like. Mixed. Um, of course, I moved my background, so just. Then the last one that right before I packed up, like I said, I had to make myself stop. Oh my god, this I can't. Excuse me, my nose is like so itchy. I have powder everywhere. This was a very deep dark navy blue mixed with that champagne wishes and look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, I I can't. So I'm gonna let these dry. Um, and then we will do another video with um, revealing what they were. I didn't get to mix the Etsy ones, but I did order some Etsy products um, that I'm going to be reviewing, and I will review those and mix them up. I saved a few of the colors um, from this palette, and like I said, I got that uh, the magnetic palette to put them in, but these different ones, I'm going to try to maybe use them find a way to incorporate make a lip product but we'll see because I wasn't too even though I do have my treat beauty lip balm which is my favorite and of course it has my lipstick on it because I had it on earlier uh, this is all natural but it's really I find that when I try to make my own lip glosses so far or lip chapstick whatever you know lip balm it ends up being like like melty <laughs> So I'm doing obviously something wrong and I probably need wax. I probably need bees wax like I just read. So thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully I can edit this video down so that it doesn't put you guys to sleep. Um, and hopefully it inspires you to make your own um, combinations and collab with whatever you have in your in your room to make your makeup you because that's what it's supposed to be it's just supposed to be something that accentuates you and um yeah i hope you enjoy good night hello okay so i'm back and there was a slight change of plans i'm editing my videos right now and we're getting ready to work out um but anyways i tried the shadows that i did yesterday in when I just added the um, alcohol to it, it made it just really dry. And the glitters didn't come through the ones that I put on it. So I then also tried the ones that I used the base mixture with that I was very apprehensive about and it actually worked really well. So I'm gonna show you what I've been working on and I have a bunch more stuff going. So this is them, final project, product, let's see. Let me see if I can. Uh, Hello, okay, so I'm back and there was a slight change of plans. I'm editing my videos right now and we're getting ready to work out. Um, but anyways, I tried the shadows that I did yesterday in when I just added the um, alcohol to it. It made it just really dry and the glitters didn't come through the ones that I put on it. So I then also tried the ones that I used the base mixture with that I was very apprehensive about and it actually worked really well. So I'm going to show you what I've been working on and I have a bunch more stuff going. So this is them, final project, product, let's see, let me see if I can, uh... okay, so here they are, some different colors that I have. This is, there's the pink with the... Violet Boss. So these are all setting right now. And again, these are all Morphe 
colors mixed with different um this one is actually a this one is morphe and i just kept it there because i like that one um and i'll figure something else out for it so just some different colors that we got playing around with here um and that one is resetting because that was again just too crazy um I made the copper with copperella into also lip gloss, and then I do have, can I move around here, this that I'm working on, which is going to be a lip stick. And that's mixed with six different Morphe shades, um, and some of the Lit Cosmetics Champagne Wishes. Uh, so yeah, all in all, oops, whoopsie, all in all, I feel like it was a success and I will definitely do an update with the uh, finished products. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video. I had to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs>